What's up, boat friends? Yeah, that snow is back in Duluth, Minnesota. It definitely feels like winter today, a brisk wind on me. We have an awesome ship for you to see. It's gonna be coming straight off of Lake Superior here in a few minutes. It's a Michipacan, old school Laker. Let me first get you started out with the weather, a sneak peek of the vessel, and also marine traffic so we know what the ship will be doing. Here's the ship we will be seeing. Michipacan, that old school Laker. Look at that awesome steering pole, that pilot house. This is gonna look really legit going by. Boat friends, now winter definitely feels like it's here today. I don't know how long it's going to last. We saw the snow on the ground, but 19 degrees with the wind chill, it feels like five above zero Fahrenheit. Wind gusts 21 miles per hour out of the northwest. So it should be pretty interesting for the ship coming in. As the ship comes off Lake Superior, it's going to go by us right here at the aerial lift bridge. It's going to go through the harbor basin under the Blotnik Bridge over to CN Dock to load iron ore pellets. I have a few samples there for you to check out. Pretty dense. Some of the sailors, they call those blueberries. This is all ice all along the pier wall. What we will do is go check out some cool things around here on the North Pier side. But then before the ship comes in, we'll walk across the lift bridge and then go over on the South Pier because it's going to be a better shot for me with the sun. There was a snow squall that came through last night, left about a half an inch or an inch on the ground. Because the weather is so cold now, it's sticking for a little while. You can see that wind a little better with the flag. I'm sure the captain is going to be prepared. There's definitely going to be a crosswind that's going to be going through the canal as the vessel goes through. See that white dot right out there? That's a Mission Picotton. It's gonna be coming straight off of Lake Superior, right at us. Now we're over on the Park Point side. I wanted to show you this construction that's going on right by the bridge. They have a development project going on. You can see a lot of dirt is moving around. You gotta watch your step, especially at night around here, the big hole right there. Let's go walk over by the beach right over here. Here's a beach on Park Point. It's got one of the federal vessels right there. It's nice actually seeing some snow on the ground in December. Actually feels like winter for a moment. The ship is getting closer. Take a look to the left of the lighthouse. Got some snow and ice down the south pier. Looks like that ship is moving pretty good. Check that out, boat friends. That's no joke. 13.5 knots. The Mission Cotton is moving, and you can actually see there on the bow, that water is getting pushed really good. Let's see if the captain actually hits the brakes as it approaches the canal. Boat friends, the lift bridge right now is on its way to 135 feet, going all the way up, getting ready for the ship. Here's the most recent update, boat friends, 13.4 knots. Got some heat coming in. Take a look at the bow. Check that out. Look at that water getting pushed. Woo! That captain coming through with some legit speed. This is going to be cool. Here's some details about the ship so we can watch it speed by us. Bishop Cotton, 698 feet in length, built in 1952. It's owned by Lower Lakes Towing. It was built at the Bethlehem Shipbuilding and Dry Dock Company in Maryland. Original name, Elton Hoyt II, that was from 52 to 2003 in 1957. This vessel was lengthened by 72 feet. A six-cylinder diesel engine and a new pitch propeller. Cargo capacity, 22,000 tons on its way in to grab some iron ore pellets. But take a look at this. As it gets closer, I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to also get you another update on marine traffic to see if it's slowed down a little. Newest update, 12.5 knots. And the captain still got to moving. 
over 12 knots. Look at that steering pole sticking out, coming through. Good looking ship. You can see that shadow from the inner light right behind us. You can actually see the Santa Claus on that too. Look at this. Got a crew member right there on deck. Seeing that orange jacket. A couple of them. Great looking ship. And I love this Mission Pecan because we're going to be able to see that rudder really good. You can see on the right. Let me give you a full look at this great looking fast ship coming through the canal. That was awesome. And you can see that water pushing off the bow. I can see there's a door that's open up there. Take a look at that stack. Looks good, but a little bit of volatility here with the rudder. See the prop that's pushing it. Looks like a draft around 22. Canadian flag flying proudly. Want to say hello to all my Canadian friends. Hope you're doing great. Get a look at this. I just heard the bell, the aerial lift bridge. It's going to be on its way down. The Mission Pecan is going to be turning into the harbor basin. We're going to take a good look at that rudder. I'm going to zoom in when I see that rudder moving. Better look at that beautiful ship, old school Laker, frequent flyer, comes into Duluth so much. You can see that rudder, almost like a shark fin sticking out of the water. Looks really cool. You can see that stack as well with the logo. Here's that bridge coming back down on this cold December day. I'm going to ask you this. If you've been watching these ship videos for a long time, let's make it official. Finally hit the subscribe button here on YouTube. Let's become boat friends. I'll really appreciate it. And moving forward, you'll be able to see when I go out and live stream, you'll get a notification if you subscribe. So go ahead and do that. And as always, thank you so much for watching these ship videos. I'll be out here with the next vessel. If you're interested in additional videos, here's a few to choose from.